Jeff, so I thought I'd go through some things that I've found in the last little month that um, they're called a little interesting things. Some are WordPress related, some are just kind of internet things. So um, kind of go on the optimization speed. Uh, so I found this plugin. Um, it's called QuickLink for, for WordPress, and it's done by a WP Munich team out of Germany. And essentially what it does is that um, it's a Google project. So it's a Google project in here in GitHub called QuickLink. So it can be installed kind of on any project, but what those people have done is nicely put it together in a WordPress plugin. And essentially how it works is that it will detect all the links on a page and then it will wait to see whether or not your browser is doing anything. If your browser is idle, it will then start prefetching those other links in the navigational structure. So hopefully when you click the next link, it will already be prefetched in your browser case. So completely different from the server side. So there's a couple of checks to see whether or not you're in a fast browser or a small browser. Um, sorry, connection wise. Um, and it uses a couple of sort of just normal browser things for that. So that's something I found recently. Installed it on my site, but I haven't done any proper testing on it yet. It seems fast, but my site's quite fast anyway. So um, that's something we found. So quick link for WordPress. It's worth having a look. It's got only 100 installs. So I found it on the advanced WordPress group. Um, but, you know, Google's behind it and a few other decent people. So um, worth having a play with it, see if it works. If it doesn't, then... Um, go for it. If you are doing any other projects, there's the GitHub lab there as well through um, Chrome Labs Quick Link. There's a couple of issues and pull requests and things there as well. Um, still on Google, so Google's kind of beta releasing finally a WordPress integration now which integrates all their services, well most of their services, so Search Console, you don't have to worry about a third party login. Um, analytics, AdSense and PageSpeed's Insights as well. So they have a beta release at the moment for that. Um, and you can go through and get all their plugin, all, all their services kind of connected directly to your site, um, which brings through page stats and there, I don't know if you can see that, but there's page stats on each page when you're in the admin, as well as, um, you know, yeah, analytics stuff as well. So it's quite nicely integrated um, into your thing so you don't have to worry about Monster Insights and the other plugins there as well. So it's just kind of a one click. Um, another one I found is called Bypass. And there's been quite a few of these two factor authentication systems around. Most of them seem to have disappeared. Um, there was a couple, Authy was one that we use quite recently as well, which seems to have um, gone at least behind sort of a paywall um, while they kind of build out their own Twilio service. But how this one works is that it's an authentication platform, so all you need to do is sign up to it. I believe it's free. Um, put in your email address, it takes you to the authentication, which can be SMS, it can be an iPhone app. Uh, can be anything from there. So once you've authenticated, the second time you're straight in. So no passwords, just kind of an application uh, and a server. So it's through, so it's called Bypass, and it's through um, this other company here called Bypass.co, but um, S-O-O-W seems to be in the name of the tool there. So you can connect without a password and use your app um, to connect straight through. So that's something worth looking into as well. Um, something else I found recently is a better kind of version of the, the f uh, Media Explorer. Um, this is a new plugin as well, but as you know, in the Media plugin currently, uh, open this in a new tab, uh, things like folders and things like that are a real pain to get organized. So this is a plugin, I think there's a premium version of it as well, that's called FileBird. Um, and it just kind of extends the media library of WordPress so you can have some folder structures and things like that, which makes sense if you are running e-commerce stores because you don't want to see your blog content when you're doing um, your portfolio or your product content or anything like that. So um, that one there is called FileBird. There's a video as well which kind of runs through how it all works and I think there may be another version on Code Canyon. So um, sometimes there's some junk on there, sometimes it's quite good, but they do have a demo version. 
something kind of scary that we found. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen this, but this person does not exist. So it's uh, computer AI creating people, which actually they, I saw yesterday there's a sketch plugin. So if you are developing anything that you need user interface faces for, uh, you can integrate right into sketch and you can bring up these people that don't exist. Kind of works out kind of weird. I had a guy that worked for me for a ghostwriter for about three years, and he only found out once he went AWOL into the bush that uh, his photo that he sent me was something that he like mocked up in Photoshop as well. So they don't look too fake, which is very scary. <laughs> so <laughs> other one, these ones are all real, but uh, UIFaces.co, if you are doing anything, you can look to say, you know, um, only looking at certain genders and apply these filters and you can pull down these photos that you've all been pulled through from uh, other photo applications, so Unsplash, Pixels, Random User and things. So these are all kind of uh, just cropped photos of people. So these can be used as well. I do believe you need licenses to use them on production sites, but I think for testing um, it's all okay. So don't go and use this as your testimonial photo. Um, but why do you need fake people? So if you're doing a mock-up of something and a client hasn't, they don't have all that information, it's just to put the design together. Otherwise you put placeholder information. Or, so it's just to put those together, really. All right. um, and that's kind of it, really. There's just a few th cool things that I found over the last little while that I remembered to, to pull up then. So, cool. Um, if there are any questions, then we can have a chat now with anyone in the group, or we can kind of catch people after.